Hey guys, Rusty K here. Just wanted to do a quick update and a little, uh, not tutorial, but a little eye-opening that I found on, on something that uh, I've been doing a little bit of research on that everybody knows how to do, but I was experimenting with some ways to do it. But before I get into that, let me give you a quick update on the 41 Willys. Um, I've been working on this with the paint, and I did do a little bit more body work. Um, I put the gold bare metal foil on the side there. This is the gold. I don't know if it comes up real well in the video, but that's gold bare metal foil there and as well on the other side. And I just got in um, my gold rims that are going to go on the car. So you'll see, you know, get an idea of you know, how that's going to look there. Yeah. Um, I did go ahead and paint the bezels for the um, headlights gold and I also painted the grill gold as well so it's gonna be a lot of gold trim on this, this is even my sort of pimped out gold gold car but uh, everything's coming out really well with the 41 Willys. Now what led me to do this video was um, when I was dechroming these um, headlight bezels and the grill wasn't really sure. I hadn't really dechromed parts before, so I was going through some methods that I had seen. And I went through four different methods, and I found the one that works the best for me. Um, I went from just ordinary bleach, and that took a couple days. Now, this is an older kit, too, so you can see some of the, some of the yellowing there, but this is an older kit. But with the bleach, it was taking a good couple, couple days, and I had to uh, uh, scrub it off a little bit even after that. And then I went to some oven off type stuff that I had looked on. You know, people had said this to use this. Um, I did the purple pow, the purple pond, um, and all that was taking too long. Then I went out and I saw somebody using the bleach gel, and I'm going to show you what this does because um, this one amazed me. This is going to be my go-to from now on. Um, I'm going to sort of move the camera here a little bit so you guys can sort of see. I have some poured into here. And I already dechromed a tree here. As you can see, it's still got some of that yellowing on there, but the chrome's all off. But I just want to show you guys in real time, if I can do this right, let's see. I just want to show you in real time what this looks like. Pardon my camera work, but I'm just going to drop this in there. And you're going to see in real time here if it doesn't make me out to be a liar, you can see it starting to come off real time. See it? Look how fast that's dechroming. I mean, that was not even 30 seconds. Um, now, I haven't left it in there that long to see if some of that brown comes off or that, that yellow haze, but. That's a whole tree dechromed in a matter of seconds. Um, that to me is impressive. Um, let me put you back on the stand here. This is the first time I'm dechroming everything. I'm going to paint with this car. All these parts are going to be painted um, individually with either some outclad or some. But to me, this was the way to go to dechrome. Um, I was very impressed. So that's pretty much it. I just want to throw that out there. It just caught my eye when I did it and just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the willies and uh, the gold wheels I'm going to be putting on here. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Hope everybody's having a great start to their weekend and we will talk to you soon. See ya.